right, so welcome to, I don't know what we're going to call this series yet, to be fair, Bug Back Better or something fucking generic like that, um, but we are back with Dan behind the camera. Today I've had the, the typical Josh Bell morning, I um, told myself I was going to get up bright and breezy, do some meal prep and bring all my meals with me. Got up with 20 minutes to leave, had to put some meals together, so potentially a better episode. Meal one, um, I've had a, a bit of fruit, like banana and that as well, but we've got 80 grams of oats. It's been sat there a while, so it looks like it's drying up by the minute, so I'm going to eat that in a sec. <laughs> looks, <laughs> looks like Candy's flip-flop. Um, but, however, 80 grams of oats, 70 grams of whey protein at the moment. I literally bought it yesterday actually from here. I've got the Perform um, double chocolate. It's actually all right, you know, it goes like quite nice and thick. I put it in the microwave for about a minute, give it a stir, put it back in for 30 seconds, give it a stir. Usually we would have some dark chocolate, um, especially on prep it was dark chocolate, but now my palate has resumed like normality. Dark chocolate no, no longer tastes like crack cocaine. Um, I've gone with more peanut butter, stuff that's actually nice. Um, but no, none of that in there today because we're going to go straight in. Well, not straight in. We're going to give it like uh, an hour and then we're going to train. So meal one, 70 grams, 70 grams of whey protein, 80 grams of oats. Let me check that on my fitness pal, what we got. Um, my fat fingers can't get round my fitness pal. Off season hands now. That gives us um, about 50 odd grams of protein and about 60 grams of carbs. So probably about 80 grams of carbs with the banana. Um, yeah, we'll see you on the gym floor. We're gonna hit a solo leg session today, prove that I do actually train legs even when I'm not with people bigger than me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it should be all right. Take you through the day. Um, bit of a day in the life sort of. I've not showed much of my food because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm crap at presentation. I don't make it look nice. I just make it and then eat it sort of thing. So it is what it is. Very quick meals, but hopefully it gives a few of you an insight into what I eat when I'm in a rush. <laughs> it's more like cake at the edges. Delicious. We're still on the smaller spoons too. We're not quite on the baby prep spoon anymore. Like where it's just like a little rave spoon, shall we say. <laughs> um, but we're still on the smaller spoons. Appetite's still there. We'll pull out the off-season shovel for the next episode. Big fucking spade thing. <laughs> Pre-workout is going in. Um, Trying to lay off the stims a little bit, so we've got a bit of a weaker one. Um, a brand that's a little bit in the mud, but I had some dregs left, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep that covered up for now. <laughs> um, but we're going to dry scoop it because um, the lovely uh, staff at Foundry Canuck have already hoovered and I don't want to get the, uh, the powder everywhere. But watch me just cough and it just go absolutely everywhere and then Dan will film me with Henry. <laughs> um, I'll probably do an energy drink as well though, so probably defeats the object of trying to go lower stims, but I'm a bit of a crackhead, so it's fine. I don't do that to try and be cool, I was doing it to be tidy. There you go. And then we've got a nice energy drink to go in as well. My leg session today. Um, don't have um, the, the hack squat in this rotation. We're like sort of rotating the the big, big, big exercises out. Um, like, and this maintenance block, we're just sort of maintaining, giving like the the, the main exercises like the side back hack squat, Nautilus press, Nautilus pull down, those sort of things. A rest. So then we've got like, when we start to push things again in the off season, we've got like that runway to push up again. Everything's nice and fresh. So we've got quad focus session today. Um, leg extension, um, pivot leg press. So 
probably do that one there, that minging one in the corner. Um, literally feels like your lungs are come out, coming out your face when you're doing it. A uh, couple of sets there and then everyone's favourite, Bulgarian split squats. So the idea with the warm-up sets is to like, obviously warm up, but just sort of gauge where you're at in terms of strength that day, because like some days you'll come in and that first 20 plate or that first bit of weight you pick up feels like the fucking world. But <laughs> like just to prime the muscles for a big working set basically without generating like too much fatigue. Like I see a lot of people doing like reps and reps and reps for work for warm-up sets and then they by the time they come to like do a top set, they're fucked already. So bank on doing like three, two or three like good hard working sets and just keep your, your warm up sets like under five, six reps sort of thing, just feel the weight, see, see what you can lift that day. In my case, not much. The idea is, keep the same oversized t-shirts we've been wearing all through what ended up being dis disappointment season, but they'll be tight by the time we start the, uh, the redemption run. Fill them out. I'd like to get five or five and a bit on that hammer strength flat press. Even though it's, back, it's gonna be like back specialization. Right? When people say about running weights up, I always think, oh, what can I press or squat? I got big, long, lanky legs, so I have to like slide in and just like push the weight as I slide down. Yeah, warm up, he says. So, the main thing with like leg pressing or anything where we're going like quad dominant, I think is try and think about getting as much knee flexion as possible. So like QI use is try and get the seat in a position. So when you're right at the bottom, your hamstring and your calf like smash into each other. See loads of people like stacking the weight up on it, but then they're, they're not coming, they're not getting the, the full they're just moving the weight a little bit, bending the knee a little bit. And I understand some people it is like a, a flexibility issue, but I'd prefer to see you drop the weight, get right down into full knee flexion and actually work the quads. Um, like if we're going like high foot position on a leg press and saying it's for hamstrings and glutes. Like there's better, there's, there is better exercises for hamstrings and glutes, so why not just do them and then use the leg press for what it's best at, quads. Says the man with no fucking legs. Two more. Ah! Ah! Oh. Well done. So I want to try and keep, I wouldn't mind a little bit of cardio in the off season. I say this every time and I never do it, but I feel like cardio as I get heavier starts to become more and more of a limiting factor on leg day. Um, excuses for why I've got shit legs again. Pulling them all out of the bag here. Oh, long bones, long bones. One more there. 
And then, can't bring myself to say it. Split squats. <laughs> Ah. Failure. Split squats. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm just gonna go straight in with a working set after that. I feel like I'll just knacker myself out even more with quads or on toast anyway. We'll go 40s because Dan's here. Do I need to put my knee sleeves on? Might be all right. We'll see. <laughs> oh. Big batty gal. Still blowing out my ass after that fucking split squat. So with this, as well as like pushing myself into the seat here, I'm actually like getting the feeling as if I'm pushing my knees into this pad here. What that does is kind of locks, forces your hips further into the, the seat. So when you see people kind of like doing it all wanky, <laughs> for want of a better term. There's a lot in that, of that in this series, isn't it? Me going for want of a better term. Um, but it just br helps to brace. So like even on the heavier weights, I'm thinking, thighs up into the pad, it's just like another counter force. Like I can do this weight, because it's just like pink dumbbell weight, um, without any hands, and I'm still staying in the seat because my thighs are driving up into the pad. Well done, Josh. Start swinging my leg, and I can feel it coming. You know, and you just start get the feeling of it's starting to cramp. It didn't quite. Don't need the magic sponge just yet. Could be either though. It could be a fact that I'm a bit dehydrated, or it could be that I've worked really, really hard. What did I say? Stiff leg dead riff RDLs, dumbbell, something like that. We've got. Meant to have hyperextension now, but they haven't got hyperextension here. It's pretty not ideal, but we'll make it work. Stiff leg with the dumbbells. Let's go. I go full fucking bodybuilder right up here. That's fucking bikini, isn't it? Actually, have them up their ass and then they'll do. Look at my new shorts. Scrunch yeah, these are scrunch bump. Nobody wants to see my airy arse. <laughs> Love my new gym shoes. I can't really talk, to be fair. I'll put the randomest picture of me with my top off and then just pick like any topic whatsoever and spew loads of shit about it just because I've got my top off. My legs are shaking before I even picked them up. That's not a good fucking sign, is it? Ah, go, 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 go. Ropey that is. One more time. And calves. So calves. Oh, push my glasses up. <laughs> calves, you want to come all the way down, spend a second at the bottom, 
and then come right up onto your tippy toes. See too many people just bouncing. Just need to proper take your time with it. Three. Horrible burn in the calves. Is that battery acid. Calves and biceps are like the worst. One last set. They want calves, they want cows. <laughs> Hi, so most important part of the day, we're going to do a bit of work in Costa. Um, two meals in, we've still um, not had the cream of rice. I'll have that at some point in my life. Maybe I'll do another video and show you how to make it. Um, but it's past three o'clock, so we're on the waters today. But just got a few check-ins to do, so we're going to crack on. Um, Costa is like my second office, to be fair. Um, yeah, just spend way too much money and time in here, but free Wi-Fi. <laughs>